you read my t-shirt. That's enough social interaction for one day. <laughs> Have you heard of Foamy the Squirrel? I've been watching it for many years. John Mathers, the guy who's, who does Foamy, has been getting a lot of negative comments lately. He has changed the series quite a bit and I think people don't like the direction it's going. I'm like, whatever. It's his series and it's entertaining, so. I sent him a little note, said it was fun to see the series evolve. I didn't expect anything in return, but I got an envelope from him in the mail. A little squirrel, ill will press. In that envelope, I got a vaguely collectible card with a protective sleeve and case. That's amazing. Then I got a bunch of foamy um, member cards, I guess. Oh yes, these are what you're supposed to pass out. These are like the Mormons do. Pass along cards. <laughs> Join the cult. And on the back it's got the member's oath. And then this is the fish, this is the important one. This is the foamy cult member club. I see, I, I have to sign my name down there. This is proof that I'm part of the cult. <laughs> cult of foamy. If you don't know, foamy rants about stupid stuff in society. As a loyal member of the foamy cult, I do solemnly swear to live a logical life free of stupidity, ignorance, and all-around jackassery, etc. So I've got four things on this table here. Two are like outlandish, two are food. <laughs> it's funny. So I guess I'll go, I'll go to food next, keep it even. I discovered Japanese udon noodles. I'm, I'm assuming it's pronounced udon. But these look like wooden sticks when they're uncooked. They're a wheat noodle. They're pretty thick, but they taste really good when they're cooked. You can make a soup, basically. You cook them in some broth, or no, you cook them in water, but then you could add them to some broth and have some good soup. Maybe add some green onion and an egg or something. Uh, next one, back to the interesting stuff. I don't know, what would you call this? It's a, this is a book. This is Malacolypse the Younger. Um, Mindsforge sent this to me. I was thinking about making a video about what's in this book, but I haven't read through the whole thing yet. I think I'm gonna save that until I've read the whole thing. I'm taking notes as I go. Once I'm done, I'll have like a review of the book. But basically this is about chaos, discordia. There's a lot of random things in the book. Some make sense, some are nonsense, but they're, it's amazing. There's great art and there's haikus and stories that I can't tell if they're fiction or non-fiction. This deserves its own video, so I'm gonna save that for later. Lastly, Pejoy, Pehoy, Pihoy? I don't know how to pronounce the E with the mark above it. Candy stuff, product of Thailand. It's a friend of Pocky. They're um, biscuit sticks with chocolate on the inside. They're delicious. <laughs> These are left over from the Airsoft Night game. That's all I have to talk about. In this part of the video, this is where I just like stand here or something and twirl around maybe. Yeah. It, there are ants crawling on these logs. And I like walking around on them, but I don't like squishing the ants. So I try to avoid them. Yep. Glow sticks. <laughs> I met this guy yesterday at the grocery store. Um, he was panhandling and I gave him a buck and he was like, oh cool longboard and stuff. Um, he's from Texas and he gave up his life of working and he said he'll never go back. And what he's doing now is making his way to northern Washington where he's going to try to, um, what do you call it, in the rivers where you try to get gold? That, he's trying to do that. He invited me to come. I said I'd think about it. Because it does sound like an adventure. <laughs> this is part where I get really close and it doesn't make sense. This is really part, <laughs> This is the part where I changed the battery. 